Okay. Um, so I'm Phil Berman. I'm going to be giving a short show and tell here on a problem which I encountered in my life and which I solved using Angular and various other technologies. So a bit of background, I'm a member of a professional networking group called Resource Maximizer. Um, basically, they're for people to meet up and make professional connections, advance their careers, basically meeting people who work at places that you want to work or find out if it's places that you want to go. So to facilitate this, every member in the group has what's called a data sheet. It's not exactly a resume, but it has a lot of the same information. It's basically a professional bio. And all members in the group have the data sheets of all members. So you can go and look these up and say, OK, who do I want to talk to? Who's useful for me to be speaking with? Who can I help? That kind of thing. And currently, there's about 50 members in the group, just to give you a sense of scale. Now, the original system for this was Word docs that were distributed via email. And this had several issues. The first one is that it's a lot of work. It's error prone. It's easy to forget somebody when you're sending out emails to 50 people. Um, on the receiving end, you could miss one. If somebody made an update, maybe it went to your spam, and now you're looking at old information. And the worst problem is searching. How do you find relevant information in 50 separate Word docs? So my solution to this was to put together an online data sheet site, well, which I will show you momentarily. And we'll just do that now. So you can see here that we have the list of all of the members in the group. Um, they are alphabetized by first name, so it's easy to find. Um, if you like last names better, you hit last name. It automatically uh, changes to last name first and automatically resorts. If there is a specific person who you're interested in talking with, you can start typing in the filter box. And you can see that it shrinks the list of names down to exactly what you've typed. So if Bill Gates was a member of the group, which he of course is, he needs, he needs these kind of things. Um, so you can see here that it shows you a picture so you know who it is you're talking to. And basically, you've got the where do they work now, where do they used to work, where do they have contacts, um, where do they want to work in the future. So if Bill wants to work at Cyberdyne, then he can click on this and say, oh, Miles Dyson works there. And he knows other people who work there. So maybe I should talk with him. Or if he's looking at Apple, then he can say, OK, um, the Steves both work there, and they have contacts. Maybe I should talk with them. So you can see that um, having this set up this way makes it real easy to find the information that is most applicable to you rather than trying to search through a bunch of stuff. Um, the other thing this does is, come on, um, gets rid of the distribution issue. You just go to the website and you've got it. Um, it also gets rid of the problem where data can be out of date. As soon as somebody updates their site online, everybody gets to see that change. Um, the technologies used here was your basic mean stack, Mongo Express, Angular, Node. Um, I was real happy with Mongo for this, um, just for storing the data. The way that it puts things together was very good for this type of project. Um, also hosted on Firebase, so it's there. Um, some of the uh, things about how Angular helped on this project, um, there were a few things which I'm going to go into. Um, having reusable services that you can drop into your components was very nice, makes it easy to um, not have a lot of copied boilerplate code to do a lot of your data stuff. Um, also, Angular had uh, capabilities for making that sorting and filtering, which I showed you pretty easy. And the fact that everything's broken up into components made it easy to conceptualize and think about what I'm trying to do on this project. So as for reuse reusable services, here is the call from my member list component, which I showed you a minute ago. It's one line to call the get members function out of my service, subscribe to the observable, and uh, save that information to a local data structure. So super simple. Um, as for how the filtering works, um, you, you saw that I was typing into a text input box. That's this guy up here, filter by, we give it a name. 
Uh, we have it in all of these uh, quotes and brackets and parens to uh, make it bound. And that goes to this filter string variable. And in my uh, filter function down here, um, we're basically comparing the filter string to the name of each member. As you can see here, um, I've got this ng container with the ng4. Now, normally, like if you looked on angular.io or if you've used this before, you will often use an ng4 on a list element, like uh, an unordered list or ul or whatever. And then it would say, okay, these are the uh, li's that are going to go into that list. In this case, since my member little tiles are being shown as divs rather than list elements, I had to put the ng4 command on something else, hence this ng container. Now, inside of that, uh, here's where that filter call goes. And it looked, it sends in the member's first name, the member's last name. If the filter string, like if there's nothing in that input box, then that always returns true because the person using the site hasn't typed in anything. We want to show every name. If they have typed something in, we use a regex and compare what they've typed. And if it matches either the user's first name or the member's first name or the member's last name, we show that. Um, this guy here, where I have the two spans, um, that is how it switches between the first name first and last name first. You can see that these ngifs are on a Boolean that is looking at you know, one of them being false, one of them being true. So you will only ever have one of those displayed at a time. Um, so basically, that's what we've got. Um, hopefully, some of this is useful to anybody who might be trying to do anything similar. Um, questions? Yes, no? Was this perfect? <laughs> okay. Uh, that is where I've got the F to lowercase and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.